the Free Knowledge Center is back with another video on, top most common myths about abs. Please subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already. And yeah, don't forget to press the bell icon, to get instant notifications of our future videos. In this video, we will talk about the top most common myths about abs. Myth number one, abdominal muscle is different from regular muscle. Your abdominal muscles are just like every other muscle in your body. The abdominal is different only in location and unlike biceps or quads they don't rest on a bony surface. So you should train them the same way you would train, say, your biceps or your chest. The basic laws of physiology apply to all your muscles, including your abs. This means that you have to do exercises in the correct plane of movement to effectively work the muscle. Myth number two, you have to train your abs every day. The rules of weight training state that you should give your muscles at least a day of rest to recover and this applies to your abs as well. Instead of working your back every day, do them every other day or even just three times a week. They need a break just like the rest of your body. The trick is to train them hard. Myth number three, doing ab exercises gets rid of abdominal fat. There is no such thing as spot reduction. People assume that if you have fat deposits on your abdominal, exercising the muscles underlying the fat will make it go away. But they assume wrong. You can't get rid of the fat over a muscle by repeatedly exercising that body part. The only way to burn fat from your tummy is through prolonged exercise and a healthy, low-calorie diet. Myth number four. High repetitions are required to make gains. As you've read earlier, abs are just like every other muscle in your body. That means you should train your abs the same way as the rest of your muscle groups. To make strength gains with your abs, you have to overload your muscles. Myth number five, anyone can have a flat stomach. For many people, it's not physiologically possible to achieve a flat stomach. In most of us, the abdominal muscles are designed to be somewhat rounded, not flat. Age, genetics, gender all these factors decide the size, shape and appearance of your belly. Myth number six. If you have a bad back, training the abs will worsen it. Training your abs will strengthen your back. The opposing muscles in your body always assist each other. So if you have weak ab muscles, the load of the work falls on the back. To strengthen the abs and your back will become stronger as well. So, don't waste time by falling victim to these six main ab myths. Train intelligently in accordance with science-based training techniques and get super abs. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please share it with your friends and family. For more videos like this, subscribe to the channel.